Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. And today we're actually going to do some concrete work. It's not a huge job and I probably wouldn't have taken it except for the situation. So we're doing a wheelchair ramp out of a front door and then we're going to do a small pad in front of the stoop and then a piece of a driveway. So we're going to head over there. I have concrete for 11 o'clock. We're going to knock it out quick, set it up, go ahead and pour it right away. So I got a couple shutouts this morning. The first one goes to Steve Bachman and his wife, Georgette. But uh, he's a builder out in Florida and he sent me a really cool sign, <laughs> which I'm going to put at the land. And it says delusional place. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to probably just tap on that right to the building, I think. And then also to Joanne Conway and Mac, Mac and Joanne Conway. But Joanne specifically, she wrote an entire book of Christian poetry. So it's pretty cool. I read a couple of them already, but I really thank you for that. Very appreciative for everything that gets sent this way. All right, well, I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning. Are you in a good mood? It's Friday. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. 615 just pulling into the yard and Bugs is here. The form truck is over at the new land yesterday when we worked there. Uh, we just didn't have enough drivers to bring it back. So we need to go pick that up this morning. There's really nothing to do here. We're going to need one 2 by 12 But besides that, we don't really need anything special, it's just plain concrete. We're going to take both dump trucks. Obviously, I don't need both necessarily for the capacity, but I have concrete at 11, so we got to get it set up quickly. So I'm going to take this one. Ray can take that one. Once we get there, I'm going to send them in this one immediately to get gravel, and then we'll knock out the, the old concrete and, and excavate the dirt and put it on that one. That way we can just keep moving right along. I had this fixed while we were gone up north. It was leaking oil pretty bad. And uh, he had to rip half the motor part to fix the oil leak. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna be expensive, but it is what it is. That one's got fuel. Not so sure about the Mac. Big moment yesterday. Big Ray actually loaded up he hooked up the trailer loaded up the skid loader tied it all down all by himself that all looks good he forgot to put the forks on but we don't really need them today anyway he's got to tie down good all right he did everything properly good job big ray good work let's throw on one two by 12 on should all be all we need Jade. Ciao, Jade. Come over here. Go sit down over here. Sit. Sit. Okay, load up the buggy. Oh, the Mac's pretty good still. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, I had more yeah, than heavy, a... like even though it looks like that. You can't see unless oh, yeah, you put yeah. something in there. Yeah. There was a wooden stick in there at one point. I don't know where it is. Good morning, Francisco. I get one of the gas gauges or fuel gauges. Oh, you got a ton. Yeah. You got a foot of. You got a foot. That's a lot. Look at the jack. What the? Yeah. All those rocks have come off on the freeway, and then, yeah. then I got to pay for new windshields and paint uh -oh. and all. Yeah, that's what happens. Put 50 in the skid loader. 50. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna text you the address right now. But go ahead. You guys all have the address now. Just take, 
take Francisco over to get the form truck at the land. Or actually take two guys, take Francisco and Eric. You can come with me in the dump truck. Oh, hang on, don't go anywhere yet. Tino. So when we were up north, I put all my dirty clothes in a bag just like this. I got home, this bag's in my truck and all my clothes are gone. Good clothes. I took, I took Ray's. No, you took mine. Oh. Dude, I was so upset. I was like, <laughs> I, was, I was walking around this morning. I was like, where's all my work clothes? <laughs> I couldn't find any of my dude, hoodies. I'm like, I'm all like this. Bro, <laughs> I thought it was Big Ray. I texted Ray. I'm like, dude, I think I got your bag. Because I had my nice gray pants, yeah, the same two one. brand new pairs. Yeah. Hoodies and everything. I need bring those tomorrow for sure. All right, we are taking off. Bugs is going to take Francisco and Eric to the new land, get the form truck. Tino's going to come in here. Ramon's putting fuel in the skid loader. He's heading over there. Should I start beeping? Hey, in the car. No way. For real? That's disgusting. Again, man. That's the second time. I better make sure this is empty. I think it is. Nope, it's got gravel in it. Oh, sweet. That's enough gravel for the job. It's got just enough gravel for the job. Nice. Yeah. So we just gotta load up the junk and uh and raise truck and then with the gravel. This Friday, something good happened finally. Yeah. <laughs> Making money. Yeah. I told them 7.30, but we're not actually starting yet. Guys should be here in, I don't know, 15 minutes. I'll show you what we got going on up here. All right, so this is what we're doing. We're doing this piece of driveway. We're gonna take this out here, and then we're gonna put a ramp coming out this way. So we're gonna go like, two feet this way just to get a little bit more uh, uh lower because we can only go one inch per foot so we're coming out about two feet gaining about two inches there and then straight down and uh pretty much right to the block what do you think those two pieces only and this super easy ray will be like Man, that's what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can only go one inch per foot so we got about seven inches here we we need a couple feet coming out this way so we can get about two inches down here and then five inches down it's about six feet try to keep it less than one inch per foot it'll be good and then they're gonna put a they're gonna put a railing you know up okay. this side originally they wanted to take the stoop out i was like there's no reason to take that stoop out problem with taking the stoop out i told them is the, new. yeah it's in good shape a and yeah. b it goes right under the brick Really? So all the bricks resting on the stoop. So that's wow. always a pain. You start ripping this out. And then the bricks I mean, out. Yeah, you try to cut it and stuff and you can't get it all the way through. And I just told them, leave the stoop in, it's fine. It's got a good footing. You oh yeah, tell. yeah, that thing's never going anywhere. That's it, man. Concrete's at 11. Gonna be very easy. Yeah. Oh, I left the lights on. I'm gonna go turn those off. And if we're bored, we have a hockey stick and fishing poles and a wagon. Wow, that's an antique. What is that? Bach Brown Master Reel. The Super Corona. Rods of quality. You want a hockey stick? It's still good. I'm taking it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's brand new, man. Look. It looks, yeah. I'm not really into hockey. Oh, Daniel will play with this thing. <laughs> if anything else, he'll just hit people with it. He'll say, come here, Tino. Pow! 
See, I'm glad we showed up. I got a hockey stick. I don't even know all the rules of hockey. I don't. I know there's a high stick, icing. What else is there? I forgot when the offense crosses that line before the guy with the puck. I don't remember, man. I don't remember all. I never watch hockey. I know it's popular in some states and really popular in Canada, but I just never really got into watching it. Is it offsides? Like football? I don't know. Somebody will let me know. Wow, Eric drove his truck all the way out here. He's pouring today, so he's gonna wanna leave early more than likely. They must have stopped to get fuel or something. It's been a good while. Eric showed up, but the other guys are still not here. I've been here for quite a while, just about 7.30. Oh, I think I hear the form truck. Yes, I definitely hear the form truck. It's not really what I need though. I need the dump truck. I need the skid loader so I can pull this concrete out Ain't really gonna be a much or any digging. This will just take the sod off for the most part up there for sure. Maybe just dig a little bit right here. Super easy. Francisco Park, way too far away. I'm gonna have him park, uh, park right here. Good, how are you? Good. Good. I already took the hockey stick. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. So I feel like, I feel like it was already worth it coming here. <laughs> Me need to go closer to the rose bush there do you think yeah yeah i'll probably move just those five blocks or so and just slide them over yeah them we'll over. we'll slide them over thank you so yeah, much we yeah really yeah appreciate it yeah no problem well, and then i'm glad you got a hockey stick all right well i will um get out of your way and yep sounds good um is there cars in the garage right now no okay all, um if well, you could there's a car in the garage yeah the one that doesn't go out um is it covered oh um, yeah, it would be better when we take these chunks out just so we don't dent the garage or we don't need a ton and ton of pins. We need probably like eight long pins and maybe eight regular size pins. That's about it. Hello. Almost here, Ray? Yeah, I'm almost there. Okay. Uh, doofity doofity. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Bad. All right. Sorry, bye. Yeah, bye. Poopity doopity. I wonder how much it costs me every year for all my guys to go poopity doopity. I'm pretty sure it's it's a lot of money. It's thousands and thousands, and like no questions asked. Thousands and thousands on poopity doopity. Ray said he had to stop and go poopity doopity. <laughs> that's yeah, what's taking so long not bad for real for a concrete i like that black you know I mean? down alleys man really? for a concrete it looks like a chimney on the end <laughs> yeah it does it looks like a I'll chimney put a, I'll, I'll put a shingle i'm in gonna put the cam too. got two cameras for that and i was thinking about putting another right, flag up there that was hard to put that little shingle there <laughs> <laughs> yeah he put a shingle know, he put a shingle on the top so, <laughs> so it didn't leak <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh i'm getting a custom made uh Porta John. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get it all wrapped and everything. <laughs> it's gonna be victory style. They don't have Eric's face on there like this. If I brought that to my rap guy, he would be like, "Are you serious?" And Ray's taking forever. Come on, Ray. Man, you took a super long time. Where did you all go, dude? Look at the route it took me. Where were you going to New Jersey? <laughs> you probably put the wrong address in. I don't know, I got concrete at 11, so every minute is crucial right now. All right, finally. It's almost 10 after 8. That is a late start on the job. You guys got all your tools off, shovels and picks and all that? Yeah, all right, finally. Finally! Finally! All right. What I want to do is I'm going to break this piece out along this edge and then I can grab those with the beak.
that should be it. I'm going to grab everything else with the beak. They can throw the loose hunks on the top of the pieces and I'll put them in the dump truck. Are you unhooked, ready to get loaded? You are? I'm going to load. Yeah, I'm going to load it right now. Put it on the other side of the street, though. Concrete's coming, guys. Look at no tools. Super easy. Oh. Concrete's coming, guys. All right, this little rampart's dug out. Just gotta get the rest of the concrete out to my left. Put the forms in, grade it quick. Felt, reinforcement, concrete. Workman's comp. It's a hole. I see bone. Yeah. <laughs> I see my bone. <laughs> I see the bone. Eric's like this. I see the bone. It's right there. <laughs> I'm like, Eric, that's just I a rock. You got a square? No. My square got wasted and Tina put the big square in the shed. What? That's where he told you told him to put everything. No, before we left, we went back in the shed. I said, make sure we grab everything. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that, that got put from in the, the shed. No, I had them take it all back out, but apparently they forgot the square. I think it's got to go this way. Good thing I got a square in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it boot close? That's an inch in. It's got to go that way. Yeah. If you go tight to, the, tight to the stick, that'll be good. I had 80 on this end. Hi, caramba. What? She's taking pictures of you. What lady? Old lady question. She's she taking? Was. She was when you dropped the thing. She was taking pictures of you. Oh, really? She yeah. called the cops. Oh, she called the cops, yeah. Because they both came out like this. <laughs> Well, the cop just went by and he waved to yeah, us, so I don't think it's too he's too concerned. That's really what we got to do. That's it. We got to raise that all the way up to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's going to look weird, but. The right there, like in that little. Somebody hold that up. So the bottom is about where the stream height is going to be. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that goes to there. Then we snap a line from there to there on here. And then we'll snap a line from there to, to there, flush. Yeah. And then we got it. Yeah, that's yeah. it now. Now I poured that and then we just face, strip this. Right. And then we face, face, the face that face little bit of inside. Curb. That just needs a two by four set there. Mm -hmm. And obviously put some nice pins in and get it shored up. You want to put gravel and compact before we do the kickers? Yeah, I'd probably. We should. Idea. I'm going to dump this in the truck and then bring the little truck up and just tip it up. I need a little, little bit of gravel, a couple buckets. Ray, we gotta move. move the truck. Yeah, we gotta move the Mac. Yeah. Don't park in front of the neighbor's house. Oh, no, yeah, exactly. All right, let's try that. Really only need a couple buckets. Or do you wanna use a wheelbarrow? There's quite a bit. I'm gonna go get the compactor. Like a few inches compact. Where's the compactor? Look at it. It's a buggy. Oh, it's out there already? Put it in the buggy, yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead and compact that. I'll put more compact again. We'll get it good and tight. Is this all we're doing? Yeah, Ray. Oh, I thought we did the whole job. But... Why would I take one square out? Uh, well, that's what I was thinking. Just, what are you just doing? for fun? <laughs> I don't know. All right, that makes sense. All right, we're good. Why were you so worried? Worried about what? The time. 
They said the concrete is at 11? Yeah. We're way past that. We're so you think it could just poop for as long I as you want? I wasn't trying to do that. Oh, man. They had diarrhea. It was really bad. <laughs> it was super bad. I was about to poop my pants. <laughs> and I ran in there. I was like, I can't believe it. I got diarrhea. <laughs> it was bad. Oh. Blue. <laughs> it was like blue. <laughs> Man, all right, I guess he's leaving his compactor there, so I'll cover it with gravel. Ready. All right, we're done. We're pretty much, pretty much ready. You're all hooked up, right? You're all hooked to the trailer? Okay, because we're done with the skid loader. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on a trailer now. Just, just spread that out. Just spread it out compact that it's good. It, it, it looks thin in the middle here anyway. That looks like four right there. All right, I'm gonna put this thing on a trailer. We're done with it. That's the same question that Ray just asked. If we were doing the whole driveway, why would I just take, would we just set up one at a time? Tomorrow we'll set that one. One square at a time. We're gonna do this in the garage. I thought that was that one. No, that's a big job we got coming up. That's a really big job. One square at a time. Yeah. We'll just take one out. <laughs> we'll screw the time. You gotta put the trailer, you gotta put yeah. back the trailer, take it out. That one. Monday, we're gonna take this one out and pour it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Man, we're gonna be here for weeks. <laughs> uh oh, I think this is a neighbor that's taking notes. Hi, how are you? I'm not sure what's going on. The neighbors over here were taking pictures of us. Then the cops came, and then whoever that neighbor is came here with a notepad, and then he went over, met with them, and now he's leaving. I mean, the cops showed up and he just waved to us. I mean, this is typical, typical Wisconsin construction. I don't know. Some neighbors are just like that, you know? I don't run into that too much, but once in a while, man, you run into a neighbor that you wish you never would have met. All right, putting the skid loader on the trailer. Uh, I don't think this. that's good. Yeah. Then it won't move. Sounds good. Sounds <laughs> You're so funny, Ray. He don't want to scratch a paint, I guess. Hey, after you after you flip this up, grab a broom and a shovel. Make sure there's no little stones on the road, because all the neighbors are kind of up in arms already. Oh, they're yes, they are. Tino, come and clean all this up. Did you sweep all up there too? Yeah. yeah. You did? Yep. Yeah, let's sweep this behind the truck. There's a couple of shovels too. Yep. I'll let the box down. We're gonna have to tape and plastic all that off. That's gonna get blasted. Ha! Hey, good catch. Backhanded at everything. Yeah. We gotta get every rock so the neighbors don't call the police back. They must end the SWAT. Yeah, right. I'm gonna get this truck out of here, out of the way. Grab the uh, pouring tools. Bowl float, joiner, hand tools. Stri well, you got the strike offs, right? Yeah. Strike offs are already out. This lady's really nice. Really nice. Yeah. She didn't make us any food or anything, but she's just a nice person. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Morning. Uh, I have that at 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I wanna get that going. I need five yards. Seven bag, low chert, air, microfiber, four inch slump, one and a half percent NCA. You want one and a half or two? I don't want to do all oh, this. Yeah. Man, load it up, whatever you want. Two percent, two percent NCA for five yards. Um, is that important? <laughs> one second, one second, one second. Concrete's ordered. It'll be here in an hour. Um, the only thing else, do we have any more tape or are we completely out? Jay's ready to bowl flow, look at her. She's ready. If she had hands, I bet she would help. Sticking to the floor. Just enough. Just enough. You grab a sheet of plastic for right here. Just in front right here because he's going to be dripping concrete all over the front of that buggy. You got a Pepsi? Wow, Eric. No, we don't need any there. It's just here when he's dumping and he's going to he's going to tear it up. You're not going to drive over the edge. 
You're just gonna right. drive up to the edge and just dump it and we'll move it around. All right, we are 100% ready for concrete. Concrete's here! All right, right on time. That's beautiful. I hope we can handle this. Probably need some more help. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> How big a road? What is it, like a four? Like a one? Oh. Yeah, yeah, at least a four. Yeah, but I do want it a little stiffer. We're trying to go home. It's Friday, you know? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Hey, no lumpus today. That looks good. No lumpus. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get run over. Go over that way as far as you possibly can. Right under the tire. Watch out. Start dumping it. Oh! Move over that way again. You got like a foot. Oh! Dump it. He knows what he's doing, right? Huh? I told him to wait. Okay. Just checking so we don't get like two extra yards again. Yeah, I told you to wait. Let's let's not let's try not to do too much of that. Yeah, there's plastic here. There's one guy we need. Eric, you can both float. Yeah. One wheelbarrow. Like three 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 quarters of a wheelbarrow. Hey, come right here, shovel it in. We got plastic there. Okay. That's a lot of concrete, dude. That was on the chute. Oh, wow. That was just the chute. Oh, so it's not your fault? Because it was in the chute? My fault. Okay. Nothing better than a Friday lumpus. I said no lumpus. I said no lumpus race. Give me some more. I can't, I can't fit. I need you to back up. I need you to back up so I can fit here and work. Pow, pow, pow! One of these days, I'm going to declare a victory at Royal Rumble. No holes barred, Eric. In the cage. <laughs> I'm serious. And we each get one weapon. I'm either going to have a stroke or we got to do a Royal Rumble. One or the other. It's got to happen or I got to quit. Because you guys always give me a stroke on every job. It's not one thing, it's the other. All right, concrete's down. It is setting up super fast. So I'm gonna put the joints in right now and then be finishing it in just a few minutes. Oh, hold on, let me get you a two by four. Oh yeah, you don't wanna bend that, man. Oh, that'll bend, dude. No, no, don't do that. Those are super expensive, man. You like buying those, Eric? No. How much was it? Expensive, 500. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> they were still in the garbage bag. Uh, I asked you whose they were, and you said, not mine. <laughs> Actually, I think you said, not mine, too. <laughs> Big old pants, huh? <laughs> oh, busting out. I'm like, man, I'm getting fat, Eric. Look at my pants. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, what we're talking about is when we left up north, Eric and I both put our 
dirty clothes and garbage bags. And when we got home, Eric took my garbage bag and left his. So this morning, I couldn't find any work clothes. I'm like, where are all my work clothes? Saw Eric's garbage bag in the back of my truck. His clothes in there. He took mine. We both had white garbage bags. That's pretty common, Eric. No, but your handle was... Mine was like stuffed full of clothes and yours just said like half full. I I'm surprised you did that. He never shoveled it up yet. Here, that buggy's got to be hard as a rock in there already. Right? Oh my goodness. Oh man. You're gonna be working on this for about another hour. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing today, yep. Sorry to disappoint Big Ray. He didn't get to work hard enough today. Got one, Eric? I can tell you never went fishing. Got one? Oh, that, hey, throw that one back, man. <laughs> that was a bad catch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jay, be quiet. How's it going? Oh, good. Good, good to see you. Oh, looks good. Oh, almost done. We still got to finish it, but yep. it's setting up pretty fast. That's kind of what you were looking for, right? Yep, exactly. Good. Hi, what's your name? This is Tori. 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 Good. Whoa. Look at that. Jade, take some lessons here. <laughs> did, did you see that? What did you say, whoa? Yeah. Jade, whoa. She, she chews wood like, she'll chew a two by four and a half. <laughs> she loves to chew, right? She hit her wood over there because she didn't want Tori to get it. Tori doesn't watch her wood, Jay. She doesn't chew two by fours and a half like you. That's got to be about ready, hey, Bugs? About five minutes. Five minutes? Yep, five minutes. Five minutes, Eric. Jay, be quiet. Just relax. Stop it. Sit down nice. You're such a big baby. Look at you. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Eric, I gotta secure this pin a little bit more. I say here, right? Easy, Easy money. money. <laughs> hey, you can wash that. We're done. No, that came out good. Yep, yeah, that's what they wanted. They want a little wheelchair ramp. It's not really a wheelchair ramp. I call, keep calling it that. She just has some really, really bad uh, knees. So she wanted something when it kind of flares up, she can get down easier. So I think that'll, that'll do the trick. They're obviously still going to have a step up into the house. But what's cool, it's only a five inch rise. So it's a really small rise. So that's about as good as she's gonna get. Looks really good. All right, we're all done. Customers are very happy. Ray's loading up the hose. So I'm gonna go back now. It's pretty early yet. It's only, uh, what time is it? 12.43. Eric's going to pour a side job. The rest of the guys are done. I think Tino's gonna help them. And I gotta go pick up another load of merchandise the first big order i did when i opened the store appreciate you guys buying so much it was totally crazy how much sold and i ran out of a lot of stuff so i reordered right away and my second order is in now so i'm gonna go pick that up and i did buy some triple x's because there was a lot of people that wanted bigger sizes so i'm gonna have some of those in stock as well oh. We got an accident up here and there's a guy laying in the street. That's not good. 
That's never a good thing. Never a good thing to see. Yeah, he's hurt. And this dump truck's about to crash into me. Move over, dude. Yeah, come on over. Why not? Bugs Concrete Service? Yes, sir. You got everything. Payroll checks. Jay, here's your check. Jay, did you get your check? <laughs> get your check. She refuses to take it. Dude, oh, why did he take much? his truck today? He wasted a lot of fuel driving to Muskego for no reason. He likes getting wasted money. He just thinks he looks so good in his dually. Yeah, he's got. Yeah. Might as well flaunt it. He's got the money. He said, "Who cares? Why did you drive all the way there? You just wanted to waste all the fuel." You got money, Eric. You got money. All right, I'm gonna go pick up all the clothing. It's another pretty good size order. Over here at Eclipse Printing, picking up my stuff. Hey man, how are you? You probably didn't want to talk to them anyway. <laughs> How's it going? Good man, you? Good, good. So I guess my stuff is ready. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You need a hand uh, loading up or anything? Um, if you got a minute, that'd be great. If you don't, you know, if you're super busy, because I don't have any helpers with me today. No, it's super busy. Yeah, me too. Stickers? Yeah. Oh, cool. Way bigger. Yeah, way bigger. That looks good, man. Yeah. I like these stickers. I just throw them in with orders. That's yeah, so I'm not. I'm not selling them. No, so. Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> Five dollars a piece. Bam. You want them to hop in there? Oh no, this goes like this. Oh, look at that. oh yeah, no. No, we're good. Time or reason? Doesn't matter. Right. My girl's gotta count everything again. Hey, I'm becoming a good customer of yours, man. I spent a lot with you guys so far. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks Thank again. Yeah. I'll let you know the next one. Oh yeah, man. Thanks so, for the order. Bro. Yep, yeah, see you later. A couple few more. I'm glad glad you saw that. Is that it? Just those three boxes? Just the three. You sure? Yep. Super sure? Yep. Double extra sure? Okay. Yeah, just <laughs> I'll just throw it up here. All right, thanks again. Okay. You're not going on the freeway, are you? No, I'm just driving a few miles. Right, Thank you. There you go. Hi. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Sorry, we're spending a lot of your company's money. All this clothes here. What do you think of that? That's good. Okay. Okay, all set. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye.